Hello, Randy Rain here, and this time I've got the Tomy Spot Bot, and it's good to be back working on another Tomy. I really like Tomy. Come on, let's face it, Tomy's the best. This is Randy's Robot Refurbish. That's right, have the Tomy Spot Bot here. Supposedly when I bought this one, it didn't work, but a um, few messing around with the switch and it does work. It has some issues though, needs some new tires, which can fix that, and it's missing ears, can fix that. But let's break this down and I'll show you how it works. It's pretty neat. As you can see, I've already replaced the tires on here with my little robot tire replacement kit who's our sponsor today the letter O for O-ring looks like we have four screws and there it is four screws the little legs come right off the little tires where I replaced with O-rings. They slide off and come out. So let's give it a test here. Turn it on. This wheel gear piece here, this is the programming of the robot. All of its movements are activated by this thing. If you look at the top here, this is the power that's coming in driving this wheel. And this wheel can activate three things right here. This is the sound, this is the direction and movement of the drive wheel. This goes up and down. There's this piece here that causes the drive to turn. And then once this is on there, it also controls this, which controls the head as well. This piece right here this controls the sound. As this thing spins around, it pushes that lever out to here and it rides this whole time until it flops here. And then you have the break in the sound here and then it turns off again. With the pop, these are just pauses. You have this circle here. There's nothing. There's a little bit and there's more. That's the three different faces of the drive train. This is one direction. This is neutral. And this is the other direction here. On the side you have this notch here. And you have this notch here. That's what activates the swivel of the drive wheel. Alright, let's go a little farther. So here's how it works. Let's start at the motor. Have a motor with the gear on it. Then it goes to a angle gear which changes the direction 90 degrees. This gear gets put to this gear which reduces it down in speed but gives it more torque. You have this elongated gear here which allows this gear to stay on it the whole time it travels up and down. When it's in the complete up position it is connecting to this gear right here which turns the wheel below goes straight down to the wheel. 
you can see that it has a lip on it or all the way around to keep this one from going flying up since it's spring loaded. When it gets pushed in a little ways down, it becomes neutral. It can't activate the gear. But if it keeps going down even more, it connects to this smaller gear here, which has a gear on it that connects back to this gear. But it's now making it go in the other direction. So that's how it changes the direction of the wheel. Also, this gear that goes up and down, it has an elongated gear as well. So that that gear can always be riding on this one, no matter which position it is in. This gear is turning this gear. This gear makes this little plastic piece wobble back and forth which is what makes him wag its tail. It also has this little piece down here that activates the sound maker so that it wobbles back and forth like so. The gear movement also continues from that gear to this gear, which this is the gear that pokes up from the top of the gear box that activates this mechanism. All the gearing seems to be working fine. Give it a test. Alright, so now I have to put this wheel back. Now I gotta get this piece in there and you can time it if you do it correctly. Let it go down here. There it is. Perfect. This little piece right here activates this gear right there. The gear, it always spins in one direction, but as you can see, so we have circular motion turning into oscillating motion. Here's how that works. Take something thin, right underneath the eyes, there's a screw. So here's the gear. This is the gear that this thing spins. It goes in here with on some spring action. It has this, this little nub right there. And that nub rides in this little slot right here. And that's what's turning the circular movement into the oscillating movement. That goes in there. And just spin it so it's in the right position. I love the eyes. This piece of plastic with that piece of plastic and that piece of plastic fits right in here.
Well, that's pretty much it. Now I have to put it back together. Only thing, you know, is I replace these tires and the tires on here, which is brought to you by our sponsor, the letter O, as in O-ring. You can see the two little pegs here. That's where the tires go on the back. With their little pegs sticking out. And the back feet go on. That little peg rides in this slot right here. The front feet. So now all this little guy needs is some ears. So I went to go and model these ears so I could 3D print them only to find out that someone's already done that. I've included a link below uh, to the original model that I found. Of course I wasn't completely satisfied so I went and fixed it up and made it the way I wanted it and I included a link below for that one as well. So once I printed mine out, I gave it a nice sanding and smoothed their thing out and then I glued it to this piece of wood right here. Then I took clay and I took the clay and I built a reservoir around the piece. Then I took silicone and I poured in the silicone in there and I let it cure. Once it's cured, you have your mold to cast it into better plastic. Uh, they're supposed to be brown and black ears. I'm just going with both black because I have black plastic. And then once the plastic is cured, I sanded them down and gave them some steel wool action and then some Brasso to polish it up. And now I have my brand new ears. Well there you have it, the Tommy Spot Bot. So we ready to see him in action now? Here we go. So here's the first click of the thing, then here's the second one, and then here's the activation to make the head move and the noise maker. So we're going forward, it, it makes a turn, changes direction. Well, there it is, another Tomy. The best robots out there. Come on, let's just admit it. They're the best. So, there you have it. Tomy Spotbot. And that was... Randy's Robot Referrals! Sit, Spotbot, sit. Good dog.